Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the breakdown mechanisms in semiconductor diodes. Okay, we'll see what is breakdown mechanism. The breakdown of a diode happens when you apply a reverse bias voltage across the diode. When we apply the reverse bias voltage in the PN junction diode, the breakdown mechanism will uh, the breakdown of the diode will occur. Okay, so there are two types of breakdown are in the diodes, which are avalanche breakdown and the Zener breakdown. Okay, so here if you see the characteristics of the diode, so this forward bias characteristics are same here in the Zener diode as well as the PN junction diode. Here there are two breakdown mechanisms. The Zener Zener breakdown occurs at this position here. Up to this point, very narrow current flows after reaching to this particular voltage the voltage remains constant but the current increases drastically the reverse current increases drastically at this particular voltage this voltage is called as a reverse breakdown voltage okay if the breakdown occurs in this position that is called as the Zener breakdown and if the breakdown occurs at this position it is called as an avalanche breakdown okay Zener breakdown occurs at less than 5 volts, but the avalanche breakdown occurs at the greater than 5 volts. Okay, now we'll see what is the avalanche breakdown and what is Zener breakdown. The avalanche breakdown occurs because of the ionization of electrons and whole pairs, whereas the Zener breakdown occurs because of the heavily doping. Okay, now we'll see what is avalanche breakdown first. The avalanche breakdown occurs when a high reverse voltage is applied across the diode. As we increase the applied reverse voltage, the electric field across the junction increases. This electric field exert a force on the electron at the junction and frees them from the covalent bonds. This avalanche breakdown occurs when the reverse voltage is greater than 5 volts. Okay, greater than 5 volts in the reverse bias characteristics. We draw the reverse bias characteristics. Okay, at greater than 5 volts, this avalanche breakdown will occur. Generally, this avalanche breakdown occurs in the PN junction diode. That's why it is called as an avalanche breakdown. Okay, up to the certain voltage, the breakdown of the diode takes place. So that's why this breakdown is called as an avalanche breakdown. Now we'll see what is Zener breakdown. The Zener breakdown occurs when a high reverse voltage is applied across the diode. The process in which the electrons move across the barrier from the valency band of P-type material to the conduction band of N-type material is known as Zener breakdown. In Zener breakdown, this breakdown occurs when the reverse voltage is less than 5 volts only. Okay, if you see the characteristics here, the reverse bias characteristics here, around 4.7 or 4.8, if we take the 4.7 volts, this is called as a breakdown voltage. Up to this certain voltage, there is no... Uh, increase in the current very low current increases very narrow current after reaching to this voltage position the current increases drastically but here the voltage is constant that's why this Zener breakdown occurs in the Zener diode generally this Zener breakdown occurs at less than 5 volts okay the, that's why here was the voltage is constant the Zener diode used as a voltage regulator that we know already but the Zener breakdown occurs in the Zener diode at less than 5 volts. So this is about the avalanche breakdown as well as the Zener breakdown. 